Picture this. You wake up one morning and notice an unusual patch of dry, itchy skin on your arm. You think nothing of it at first, but as the days go by, you start to notice more changes in your skin. Could this be a sign of something more serious? Welcome to Unveiling the Secrets, 15 Common Signs of Diabetes on the Skin. In today's gripping tale, we will embark on a journey to uncover the hidden messages your skin may be sending you about your health. So, grab a seat, buckle up, and let's dive into the mesmerizing world of diabetes and its connection to our body's largest organ. But before we begin, let me ask you a question. Have you ever experienced skin irritations that seemed unusual? If so, you're not alone. Sometimes, these skin conditions can be the first warning signs of diabetes, signaling the need for medical attention. Other times, they can emerge because of uncontrolled diabetes. Either way, it's crucial to pay attention to the messages your skin is sending you. By observing and addressing these problems promptly, we can prevent them from worsening and avoid more serious complications. Now, imagine this. You're sitting in your doctor's office, anxiously awaiting the results of a blood test. The room feels tense, and your mind is racing with questions. Suddenly, the door swings open, and your doctor walks in with a reassuring smile. With bated breath, you listen as they unveil the truth behind the peculiar changes happening on your skin. In today's captivating journey, we'll explore 15 common signs of diabetes on the skin. Each sign carries a secret, a hidden clue waiting to be deciphered. Are you ready to embark on this intriguing adventure? Let's begin our countdown, starting with number 15. Sign number 15, Dry and Itchy Skin. Dry and itchy skin can serve as an early warning sign of diabetes. Elevated blood sugar levels cause the body to lose fluids, leading to dryness. Moreover, excessive glucose in the cells hinders oil production, leaving your skin flaky and itchy. If you suspect a connection between dry, itchy skin and diabetes, the first step is to visit your doctor for a blood test. If diabetes or pre-diabetes is diagnosed, managing your blood sugar levels becomes crucial. Here are a few tips to help you combat dry skin and maintain its health. Keep your blood sugar levels in check. Plan for shorter, cooler showers or baths. Moisturize immediately after showering. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water and regularly monitor your skin for signs of infection. By following these tips, you can ensure your skin remains healthy and moistured, even while managing diabetes. However, it's essential to consult your doctor if you experience persistent dryness or itching. Sign number 14, the eruption of boils. In our penultimate journey, we witness the eruption of boils, a painful manifestation of diabetes. These tender, red lumps seem to bubble up from beneath the surface, leaving a trail of discomfort in their wake. They remind us that diabetes is not confined to numbers and lab tests but can be felt, seen, and endured. Our skin bears witness to the complex interplay between our internal battles and their external manifestations. Sign number 13, the brittle nails. We turn our attention to an often overlooked sign of diabetes, brittle nails. Your once strong and resilient nails become fragile, prone to breakage and splitting. They lose their natural shine and become dull and discolored. These changes in your nails can be a silent cry for help from your body, urging you to investigate further. Sign number 12, Necrobiosis Lipoidica. As we journey further into the realm of diabetes and the skin, we encounter Necrobiosis Lipoidica, an inflammatory condition commonly associated with diabetes. Collagen degeneration and thickening of blood vessel walls lead to its appearance. Often, necrobiosis lipoidica acts as the first sign of diabetes, urging individuals to seek medical attention. These small bumps on the skin may turn yellow or brown and have a porcelain-like shine. In some cases, you might observe red or purple blood vessels beneath the skin's surface. This condition tends to come and go in phases, and during active phases, the affected skin may become painful and irritated. Sign number 11, dark patches on the skin. Dark patches on the skin can indicate a condition called acanthosis nigricans. This common skin condition often occurs in people with diabetes or those who are overweight. Acanthosis nigricans appear as dark, velvety patches of skin that may be dry to the touch. These patches are commonly found in areas such as the armpits, back of the neck, groin area, or elbows, but they can also appear elsewhere on the body. If you have acanthosis nigricans, it may indicate high levels of insulin in your blood, which can be a sign of pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes. Sign number 10, the unexplained hair loss. As we journey deeper into the realm of diabetes and its connection to the skin, 
we encounter another enigmatic sign, unexplained hair loss. Your hair starts to thin out, and you notice more strands falling out during showers or brushing. This hair loss can be distressing, but it serves as a reminder that diabetes can impact not only our skin but also our entire body, including our precious locks. Sign number 9, the pruritus puzzle. In this chapter, we explore the perplexing world of pruritus, a persistent and intense itching sensation that plagues those with diabetes. It's as if invisible insects crawl beneath your skin, driving you to scratch relentlessly. This maddening itch can be a result of dry skin, poor circulation, or nerve damage caused by diabetes. It reminds us that our skin is not just an outer layer, but a complex ecosystem intertwined with our overall well-being. Sign number 8, Diabetic Dermopathy. Diabetic dermopathy is a common skin condition that affects people with diabetes, particularly those who have had the condition for a long time. It appears light brown, with scaly patches on the shins and lower legs. These patches are usually painless and may resemble age spots. The exact cause of diabetic dermopathy is not known, but it is believed to be related to changes in the small blood vessels that supply the skin. Poor circulation and damage to the blood vessels can contribute to the development of this condition. It is generally harmless and doesn't require treatment, but it can take a long time for the patches to fade or disappear. Sign number 7, the Xanthalasma Enigma. We also encounter an intriguing enigma, Xanthalasma. These small, yellowish deposits appear on the eyelids, often near the inner corners of the eyes. While their exact relationship to diabetes is not fully understood, they can serve as a visual cue, prompting further investigation into your overall health. The story of Xanthalasma reminds us that our skin can hold secrets, waiting to be unraveled. Sign number 6, Diabetic Neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy is a common complication of diabetes that affects the nerves, including those in the skin. It occurs due to prolonged high blood sugar levels that can damage the nerves over time. Neuropathy can cause various symptoms, including numbness, tingling, burning, or pain in the affected areas. In the case of diabetic neuropathy affecting the skin, individuals may experience loss of sensation or hypersensitivity. Loss of sensation can make it difficult to detect injuries or wounds, increasing the risk of infections and complications. Hypersensitivity, on the other hand, can cause heightened sensitivity to touch, temperature, or even the fabric of clothing, leading to discomfort or pain. Proper diabetes management is crucial for preventing and managing diabetic neuropathy. Maintaining stable blood sugar levels, adopting a healthy lifestyle, and following the treatment plan recommended by your healthcare provider can help reduce the risk or slow down the progression of neuropathy. If you notice any symptoms of neuropathy, it is important to consult your doctor for appropriate evaluation and management. Sign number 5, Slow Wound Healing. Diabetes can impair the body's ability to heal wounds. High blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the affected areas, making it more difficult for the body to deliver the necessary nutrients and oxygen to promote healing. Additionally, diabetes can weaken the immune system, making it harder to fight off infection. Individuals with diabetes may experience slow wound healing, and even minor cuts or blisters can take longer to heal. If left untreated, these wounds can become infected and develop into more serious complications, such as ulcers or gangrene. Sign number 4, the sweet scent of danger. As our story unfolds, we stumble upon an unexpected twist, a scent that lingers in the air, revealing yet another clue. It's the sweet smell of danger, the unmistakable odor of acetone on your breath. This peculiar fragrance can be a sign of high blood sugar levels, a symptom often associated with diabetes. Your skin and your breath become storytellers, sharing the secrets of your body's internal struggles. Sign number 3, the disappearing pigment. As our story nears its climax, we unravel the mystery of disappearing pigment, a sign known as vitiligo. This condition causes patches of your skin to lose color, creating a stark contrast against the unaffected areas. While vitiligo's exact cause is still unknown, research suggests a possible link to autoimmune disorders like diabetes. These patches remind us of the complexity of our bodies and the interconnectedness of various conditions. Sign number 2, the mysterious rash. As the puzzle pieces fall into place, you begin to experience another common sign of diabetes on your skin, a mysterious rash. It might manifest as small red bumps or raised, itchy patches that seem to appear out of nowhere. You scratch and scratch, hoping for relief, but the itch persists. It's as if your skin is trying to communicate a message, a cry for help that you can't quite decipher. Sign number one, 
the swollen feet and legs. As our tale nears its conclusion, we delve into the realm of swollen feet and legs, an outward manifestation of diabetes-related complications. Fluid retention causes your lower extremities to swell, making it difficult to walk or find comfort in simple movements. This swelling serves as a visual cue, a reminder that diabetes affects not only our skin but also our blood vessels, nerves, and overall circulation. As we reach the final chapter of our gripping journey, the pieces of the puzzle come together. We have explored the 15 common signs of diabetes on the skin, each with its own unique story. From dry patches and rashes to sweet scents and swollen feet, our skin has been a faithful companion, whispering the hidden truths about our health. Now armed with knowledge, we can recognize these common signs and take proactive steps towards managing our health. If you notice any of these signs on your skin, it's important to consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. With that said, we hope this journey through the secrets of diabetes on the skin has been enlightening and empowering. Remember, knowledge is the key to taking control of your health. If you find this information valuable, we invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on health and wellness. Thanks for watching, and until next time.